get up. It's time. It's Friday morning. It's time to get up and get ready for the weekend and get ready for beer 30 at 4 p.m. New Mexico time today. Yeah, it gives me something to look forward to. The wind is out of the north uh, east, actually, at about four, six miles an hour, maybe. The wind sock is just hanging down there. And uh, beautiful clear skies, 58 degrees. Can you believe it? July the 19th or whatever it is. Yeah, Friday, July the 19th, 2024. So, guys, yeah, it's been good here so far. I've been here a little over a month now. Sold my tiny home in Alamogordo. Got that done. Everything's done. Got me a tow dolly and I got me a concrete floor. So, yeah, we're ready to go uh washing we're waiting on a lot uh, of an apartment sized washer and dryer it's just a little bitty thing it only weighs about 20 pounds but it's got a little washer on one side and then a spin dryer on the other side and and it really spins them dry according to what i watched on youtube and so yeah and then i've got a clothesline i'm going to hang up inside the garage and uh yeah that that'll do it i got it's a it's a it's a a rubber coated metal um, clothesline and then I got some regular old clothes pins coming and so we'll do our laundry right here I'm not going to go to a laundromat and actually I could take that washing machine with me if I chose to if I had somewhere to hang up clothes where I went and uh, you know I could hang them up in here uh, and I might it's possible uh, I don't know that I want to do that, but it's a thought. I mean, I could if I was going to be on the road for a while, and who knows what I'm going to do. I don't even know. So anyway, guys, uh, today's the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow, right now, and right now just went right on by. And then what else? Uh, never worry about what you cannot change or you don't have any input to or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, just, you know, let those dogs hunt and enjoy your life. Anyway, what else? Uh, that's it today for your viewing pleasure. I don't know what I got. I got something. Uh, it's another softball video. <laughs> Surprise! Uh, and then, you know, driving videos. I do those, don't I? Yeah, and I figured out on the driving videos, there's a way to, I think, eliminate that uh, fuzziness, uh individual sent me an email and I, to, with a link to uh, YouTube and, and I watched it and tried it and it seemed like it worked so we'll see but anyway uh, what else let me pause this one minute here okay anyway Travis Rassel says dear Rusty my mom watching your videos all the time on YouTube she really likes your videos keep up the good work well thank you very much Travis, I will. I'll do the best I can. I want your mom to enjoy my videos. Paul S., that is on the garage concrete floor. He says, that is so much better with the concrete floor. Nice job. Yeah, it is. Because I, yeah, it's it's really nice. I mean, it, it just makes the whole place work for me. And then, of course, I got the little 10 by 10 storage building out here uh, that I've got stuff in that I don't even, I, even why I got this stuff, but I did. And it's in there, and it just sits there and looks at me. At some point, I'll probably have it hauled off. Ralph P., have you had good luck on your tiny home sale, Rusty? Thanks for the ride along. Yeah, I've had very good luck. It's done. The money's in the bank, and we're fini. D.E. Christie, being asked to hide your briefs when filming your laundry seems demanding, amigo. Let your boxers hang high on the dry line. Yeah, you know, I don't understand the deal about underwear. You know, we have a fixation with some crazy stuff, you know. But I won't mention why we have it, but I think some people may know why we have certain moral things pushed down our throat. And that's, never mind. Electric Vic, this is fun. Was in Carrizozo and Capitan yesterday. We especially love Capitan, also Lincoln. Yeah, Lincoln's a little bitty town where, you know, that was kind of the center for the Lincoln County Wars out here years ago. And it really wasn't, you know, there was probably, in the whole Lincoln County Wars, there were probably 
20 people involved in the whole thing or 15, not very many. It wasn't, it wasn't like a war with thousands of people. I mean, it was, it was just a, a lot of friction between two merchants and ranchers and stuff. And yeah. And of course, uh, Billy, the kid, uh, yeah, that, I'm glad you enjoyed your travels out here. D Williams fuel regular 354 a gallon in Tucson yesterday. Yeah. I was thinking about heading that way in the winter, as opposed to going down to Victoria, Texas, because the downside of Victoria, even though it is warmer in the winter, is the humidity so damn high? You know, it just, I don't know. But anyway, Stephen Greco, congratulations on selling your tiny home. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's a real relief, you know, to get that done. You know, you you know it'll sell. You just don't know when, and, you know. And but fortunately, it's done. And uh, crazy lady, congratulations on another birthday and of the recent sale. Looking forward to the next adventures, and you are still looking great. Well, I do me and the best I can. Same person. So when old Rusty gets excited, he has a lead foot. Gas today in the middle of nowhere, Nebraska was 320, and it's 86 degrees, but pretty humid. Yeah, here it's uh, here in Carrizozo, it's 318 a gallon for regular unleaded. But I got, I filled up in Alamogordo uh, two days ago, and uh, it was 281 for regular unleaded. Yeah, that's a pretty big difference. And and if you go on up to Rudoso, it's a little higher than here. Uh, uh, Carrizozo has the lower lowest gas prices of Capitan and Rudoso by far. Yeah, it's three thirty nine in uh, Capitan. K Bob Hope, there are different kinds of Brita filters, Rusty. The white one that comes with most pictures is just charcoal and just makes water taste better. The light blue ones filter more things when you replace yours get a light blue one and test it uh yeah well actually what i have thank you okay bob what actually i do have i have the brita pitcher filter and then i also have uh the camco rv you know the water hose filter it's about this long so that filters all the water coming into the rv the class c motorhome and then uh, out of the kitchen sink faucet, I filter that water the, with my Brita filter, and uh, so it's actually double filtered. It's okay. I mean, it it, it tastes okay to me, and uh, so far no issues with the water. Curtis Ard use zero water pitcher. Yeah, I, I tried that, and it is a good one. It is a good one. The downside of the zero water p pitcher is it filters out all dissolved solvents or most of it and uh, that's why they call it zero water pitcher and uh, the the water out here is so uh, well there's turbidity in the water here which is like mud uh not here but in well there's some here and uh, but the uh the hardness of the water is about 400 you know what i mean the, the total dissolved solvents so it'll plug up a wa zero pitcher water filter in about a week, you know, and so it'd be pretty expensive to use those. I don't mind getting a little, uh, a few more minerals in my body. Kevin Larson, Rusty, you're sure making me consider moving away from north central Kansas and relocating in the areas you've been showing. The heat and humidity are wiping me out. I should at least travel down that way and see if it's an area I think I could be happy in. Yeah, you know, that's what you do. Yeah, and Arizona, don't eliminate Arizona, you know. Uh, north, uh, western Arizona, you get over around Eager, uh, Arizona, you go up to uh, uh, Snowflake and places in there. Those are really nice, you know. And uh, yeah, there's places that are even better than this uh, for some people. Um, Ms. Carletta Wilson, hello, Rusty. Haven't heard from you in a long time. You still ride your Liberty Trike? No, I don't have it anymore. Liberty Trike just came out with some fat wheels this year. Go check them out. <coughs> I might do that. I'm not sure. I We'll see. I might. Ranger Rebel. That's a great road for a drive. Yeah, all, all the roads around here are great for driving because there's hardly any traffic. The busiest road here is Highway 54 going north and south. You know, it goes uh, 
from uh I like you know well actually it goes all the way around to, to El Paso but and then it comes through Alamogordo and heads north through Carrizozo and goes on up through a bunch of little towns uh, and and it's a it's a good route north and south to avoid uh Interstate 10 or 25 I'm sorry Miss Missy Costello already watched this video you already have your semen very good, Missy. You got a good memory. Lisa Richter, LOL, that's a great shirt and does seem to be quite true. Happy belated birthday. That was quite a note you hit after the bug smacked the windshield. Big blue skies. Enjoy your day. Yeah, there was a bug that hit the windshield when I was doing that driving video. It sounded like a rock, you know, but didn't do any damage. James Jackson, you are driving and I'm riding. Well, good. You just hang in there, boy. This is him again. Hey, hey, dude. Hey, here. Hi. Poodle Professor. Here we go. Love that area with no traffic. Yeah, me too. You know, it's it's very similar to uh, uh, Capitan, of course, because we're right near there. But, yeah, it, driving around where there's no traffic, you get used to it. You know, in fact, Carrizozo doesn't have any red lights. I, I think they've got one blinking red light no they i don't even know if they have that they got a four-way stop that's it as far as i know but it's got a blinking red light there yeah but there's no red lights uh at intersections and stuff it's you know i can zip into town go to the dollar store get me a diet dr pepper at the gas station and and go to the post office just in a few minutes no traffic at all no i like that i do and, and i that's what that's what i look for that's what i've found and and that's what I'm enjoying, you know. But I, I do it my way. You do it uh, your way, uh, you know. And, and that vi that driving video I was mainly I was talking about, you know, bumper stickers and T-shirts and stuff. You know, we express ourselves uh, visually, you know, with bumper stickers on our cars and stuff on our shirts. Anyway, this the shirt that I saw at the gas station that triggered the video was this lady had on a a t-shirt and on the back in big letters like this, you know, you couldn't miss it. It says assholes live forever. Uh, but, <laughs> but he said, but, but what, this is Cody he says they live forever, but wade through crap on a daily basis. Yeah, that's true. You know, but yeah, I just thought it was interesting to see that big a statement uh, by a young lady. Uh, you know, she was carrying a baby, you know, so it was interesting. Dear Trixa, good evening. Well, good morning now. And we'll do three more and we'll shut her down. Uh, congrats. So Dare Trixa says, congrats. Yeah, thank you, Dare Trixa, on the North Sea in Germany. T. Marie, that sunrise was, was sure was beautiful. Looked like an expensive oil painting. I think where you are living at now is the best of all. Perfect. Yeah, for me, I think it is too. I think it's uh, the best place I've lived uh, my entire life. Uh, you know, it's a... Uh, it fits for me, but for some people it wouldn't work. I mean, it's very remote. You get some winds and dust, and you know they have some rules out here. You know, and and uh, yeah. So for a lot of people, it 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 wouldn't work at all, and and uh, I I don't recommend it. You know, uh, Gigi. Awesome, you sold the home. On to the next adventure. Last one, Alvin Masso. Uh, congrats on selling your tiny home. Uh, well, you're you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's uh. It's a pleasure to have that all done and, and moving along here and getting my diamond. Well, the diamond's polished, as polished as it's going to be. I'm not going to put a cover over the top of the RV at all. I've decided against that. And the reason I decided against it was to get a 24 by 36 uh, cover, like kind of like I had in Capitan, New Mexico, get one from uh, uh, Eagle Carport would cost about $7,500, okay, delivered and set up. Well, you can re-roof this RV for $1,500 to $2,000. You know, that that's turnkey uh, mobile RV. I checked. <clears throat> you know, they have a special deal they do. I mean, not, it's not a sale or anything. It's, it's a material that goes on real quick and lasts about 10, 20 years, 10, 10 years, whatever. And so if I ever have any issues with the roof, I'll just re-roof it. Uh, for whatever it costs, you know, and, you know, do that a couple of times, and then I'll be out of here anyway, you know. So anyway, guys, from uh, Carrizozo, New Mexico, or nearby, 
Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link if you choose to. Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. Uh, stretch, you know, walk, all that stuff. Exercise your body once or twice a day. And uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out slowly. Relieve stress. Lowers your blood pressure. And then uh, don't forget Beer 30 at 4 p.m. New Mexico time. Join us and leave comments or just, you know, uh, w watch what's going on, you know, just, in, just gives you a time to, to watch something a little different. And then what else, uh, uh, what else, uh, stand guard at the door of your mind, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time at ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until the next softball video. You know, life goes on, we're enjoying ourselves, so let's just chill out and enjoy the ride, guys. Adios. Bye-bye.